Dust knowledge is power. People suffer because of lack of knowledge. Storm from the Sahara. Wake up, people, devil. How did is the a dust liar. from the Sahara reach the Caribbean so quick? That means Africa is closer than they tell you. Question everything. Everything is a blasted lie. I had an auntie that worked for the airline, Air Jamaica to be specific, for many years. And right before she retired, the pilot told her, direct flight to Africa is only three and a half hours from Barbados. So why we have forgot Europe? Forgot Africa. Those blasted witches. Why they send us to Italy and London and Europe? Forgot we of all your so. Forgot Africa so. You have a question on that? Yes, my beloved. Three and a half hour flight. That's what the pilots told us. Directly from Barbados. Saying the map is wrong. Oh dear, yes. Now uh, look at Greenland. Okay. Now look at Africa. Okay. The two land masses appear to be roughly the same size. Yes. Would it blow your mind if I told you that Africa is in reality 14 times larger? Yes. Here we have Europe drawn considerably larger than South America. When it's 6.9 million square miles, South America is almost double the size of Europe's 3.8 million. Alaska appears three times as large as Mexico, when Mexico is larger by 0.1 million square miles. Germany appears in the middle of the map when it's in the northernmost quarter of the Earth. Wait, wait, wait. Relative size is one thing, but you're, you're telling me that Germany isn't where we think it is? Nothing's where you think it is. Where is it? I'm glad you asked. But it's only three and a half hour direct flight from Barbados. Hmm. Is it something they don't want us to see over the sea? I currently see they are making money currency off of our ignorancy. So get with it. Question everything. This is a time of revelation. You know, see what I go on. That's where everything you learn and start relearning. Yeah. Really Look, they can speak to me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. According to you, so, your social studies teacher, what is the queer? Right? This is the map that we use in the schools. Look where the United States is in the middle of the world, right? Now, here's the USSR, which is no more, of course, Mongolia, China, Africa, uh, India, Pakistan, USSR, China, 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 Largest land masses on the face of the earth, right? Now, do you know the continents? Africa, Asia, Australia, America, Europe, North America, and South America. Did I say Greenland? Well, Greenland is a continent, but it's a huge land mass according to this map, right? Why, people? If you read the legend on the map, now look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be, and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. This is a visual image that teaches children a lie. What's been cool? Oh, man. Why would they do that if it's true? Seems that there's a lot of things you need to question, but share the questions in the comment section and help us to know what is that's what in your mind. This is very disturbing. Let's keep watching and watch it. By the way, there is that video that has passed uh, uh, the podcast, the woman who was talking about the Palestine and Israel. You know, that's very crazy and even hard to think about with all that animosity in humans doing such kind of things to other humans. I don't think that is right. People should live in peace and harmony and love and unity and all that. Without looking at other people's color and religion and how their hair looks like, if we are all one, you guys, we are all one. I'm one like you watching. Hit the like button because of being one. Watch till the end, man, and don't what's been called don't despise camera. people. Watching that again, a person wearing a hat appears to be standing in the room. 
when he takes a second look, there's no one there. Towards the end of the clip, a dark, mysterious shadow near a tree grabs their attention. It has an uncanny resemblance to a figure standing silently watching them. The fun mood dissipates completely, replaced by fear and speculation. So this guy's upset because I talked about the research findings of Professor Jin Li of Shanghai's Fudan University, indicating that there is ancient black ancestry among the Chinese people. This professor talks about ancient migration patterns between Africa and Asia dating back some 60,000 years. And you can even see the likeness today when you compare the features of Chinese people and the Khoisan people of South Africa. Before I get to the main point of this video, I just want to inform you that Africans are the only people on the entire planet who has a diverse genetic pool of people in the entire world. We are not just rich within our DNA, we are rich in culture, in history, tradition, and so forth. Because of that, Western settlers came here and they were surprised that within our diversity, we were able to live together and respect each other's boundaries. And that they used against us. They put us against each other using our diversity, our culture, our history, and so on, and made us believe that we are different from each other. Now, to get to the main point of this video, what you call a Khoisan is actually a slur, which is equivalent to you calling me a K-word, which is a Kafir, which is used in the Southern region, particularly South Africa. They are actually called queer people. I myself cannot pronounce the full word because of the click sound in it. And what you also call Khoisan is not just a single ethnicity. They are actually two. Kwe and San are two ethnicities. They were hunted and unalived by white settlers so much so that they halved the population of the people, which you call Kwe and San. Now, you see her features? And look at me. Look at her hair and look at my hair. Look at our features. Mind you, I don't have their DNA. I am mixed with Baperi and Zulu people. And within that group in itself, those people have their own ethnicities. We were grouped together due to colonization and apartheid. We were put together according to our features. Kwe Kwe, Pui San, San people, whatever slur you want to use to define them, they had an empire in the Western region, which the Western people took it from them. These people are African people. They are us and we are them. These two transgender athletes took gold and silver in the Chicago's women's bicycle race. First thing I did was look at their faces. Now the second thing I did was I checked here. In May of 1984 at the Monroe Institute, uh, I had been training with Bob for almost 14 months, learning to control my out-of-body experiences. It turns out you can do very specific things with out-of-bodies that you can't do with remote viewing. If you want to know how the trigger mechanism works on a Chinese nuclear weapon, out-of-body's better because you can go to the Chinese nuclear weapon and put your face in it, look around, do detailed drawing. But if you want to know where all the parts from the weapon came from, remote viewing is better because all the parts are intricately linked together. My training officer, Skip Atwater, would come in from the project and test me to see whether or not my remote viewing was getting any better. One of the training tests that he brought was a 
target that I didn't know anything about. Well, this particular week, he brought a Mars target. I didn't know it was a Mars target. He gave a sealed envelope to Bob Monroe, which inside had a card that said Mars, one million years BC. He had a uh, list of uh, coordinates. And the first set of coordinates was uh, 44.89 degrees, 9.55 degrees west. I didn't know anything about the targets as I was laying in a dark black cube in the lab floating on a sea of salt. And the first thing I heard was the coordinates. And this was my response. I got a great view of a pyramid, a pyramid form, sitting in a large depression. It's yellowish, ochre colored. I get clouds, a severe storm, major geological trauma. Then I was asked to visit the site before the trauma. They said, go back before the trauma. They said, all the dirt had disappeared. There were now smooth walls. Everything was flat, megalithic. I said something about, gee, is this a new pyramid? Did they discover a new pyramid? Because it's really large. Shadow of people, fragments, memory of people. They said, go back to when they were there. Large people, thin and tall, wearing strange clothes, skin tight, very tight, almost can't see them. This is actually the depressed area. This is the pyramid. It's actually a double layered pyramid. In a canyon looking up steep high walls that go on forever. Very intricate, huge sections of smooth stone carved out, getting very large structures, rabbit worn of huge corridors and rooms. That's a canyon, and that's the pyramid. Now what's really interesting about this particular pyramid, is you notice it's sitting on the side of the impact crater. And that's a real trick because that means the pyramid had to be put there after the impact crater. Because if the impact crater hit after the pyramid was there, it would have destroyed the pyramid. The other interesting thing about this picture is you can measure the shadow of the crater and based on the angle of the sun, you can estimate the size of the crater wall as being 3,000 meters tall. Now look at the shadow on the pyramid pretty tall pyramid. That's a 20,000 meter tall pyramid. Here's something else interesting. That pyramid's even closer to the edge. There's the road in, there's the road out. This is a general area. Pyramid's huge, but different this time. The reason these were different is because they were a cluster. These are like shelters from storms designed for sleeping. I specified hibernation, sleeping through savage storms. I'm asked to find out why. They're an ancient people trying to survive. It's past their time and age. They're waiting for the return of someone sent to find a new home. Their world passed through the tail of a comet. I had a sense that their atmosphere was stripped away or are destabilized when it passed through the tail of the comet. This is an old fort. Now what's interesting about the old fort, this is actually a pyramid. That's one side, that's the other side, that's the other side. The tip is missing off the top and it's hollow. They call it the old fort. It's always referred to as the old fort. Those are, that's a grouping of pyramids. And that's a building, or what's left of a building on a sort of a plateau. Or, and that's the drawing I did of the larger beings. What I think in actuality, there really are no such thing as Martians. What I think Martians are is us. I think we're descendants of the original inhabitants of Mars. And we're the ones that never went back. When we go to Mars, we're going to continue.
this search of understanding who we are, where we came from, and what was before us, and may be foretelling of what is the future.